All right, guys. So we're uh, we're gonna work on this uh, yearbook some more. Just as a reminder, uh, we're gonna go to Studio Balfour, Studio uh, and then you should have your username and your password. Uh, if you ever forget your password, click on Forget Password. It'll send you an email. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Uh, and so this is kind of what we look at. You know, right now it shows we've only sold 18 yearbooks. Uh, we're trying to sell 150. I will say that when we get this done, uh, this will make it a lot easier for us to sell your books on campus. You know, so we also need to be thinking about how we can do yearbook sales at lunchtime, maybe take groups to do so. All right, so the next step is we're going to launch Encore. Um, and so I've got uh, Miss Brunel working on the grade level pictures that you all took on picture day. So remember, these are your spreads. Um, we're working on these spreads right here. We've got a nice little background they're working on. Um, so, so in this case, like, uh, if you want something to be unlocked, you can go force unlock. Uh, and let me go Control plus here. Okay, so I'm going to make sure things are spelled correctly. So Coach Brian's favorite, the football coach here at Crawford, has had a very accident, has had a very – so we'll change, make a few changes. Has had, has had an outstanding season. We'll just say – instead of very, we'll say an outstanding season for this players and is very – upset that the season is over coach loves to play baseball and is coaching at Bryan station soon for the baseball team so what i'm going to do uh i'm going to delete that and um uh, upset that the season is over and then what we will do because i have talked to him too but was happy with the hard work of all Crawford players. Okay. Now, you know, we, we also want to have like good text. These are just like subheadings and things like that. You know, you got football. We're going to come over here and do basketball. Very similar. Now, there's a couple ways to do it. Um, and so let me mo make this a little bit smaller. So they're going to be working on, the editors are going to be working on that. So let's go back to spread. Uh, so here's girls basketball. This is what we did yesterday. Uh, now, this is a very important thing. Uh, we always want to save changes. So I'm going to save the changes. If you do anything in the yearbook, you want to come up here to the top left and click save. Uh, in this case, we're going to get some quotes for basketball and, and girls and boys basketball. Uh, so it's really nice. Now, I will say that you can come in here and we can copy and you can paste another picture and it will help you know you can like do some other cool things so let's say if you didn't want this text to be here we can copy and paste that picture now how do we add pictures to the spread this is the cool part um so the next thing is i'm going to hit save remember i always want to save okay uh so you're going to go into pictures and then this is where you all come in we've got all these cool little pictures we got sixth grade, we got seventh grade, and we got eighth grade, right? So, and then the office, office and admin staff. Okay. So, in this case, wherever we upload those pictures is where they go. And the cool thing about uh, Encore is that when I hit plus, then you can upload from Drive. So, remember yesterday when I said I had a shared folder. Okay. So, I'm going to go to Google Drive. I'm going to click on my name. Okay. And we are going to look at, I'm going to go 22, 23, yearbook. And it says yearbook shared with students. Now, we've got a ton of pictures that we can put in there. Okay, so the first thing is, remember, over here, if you can see it's grayed out, it says we're looking for admin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to just type in Jones and see what pops up. And that's the importance of labeling your pictures now i don't want to use this because that's going to be that's going to be in the staff page we don't want to do this so let's let's click on mike jones and see what we have as far as pictures and it pops up 
Yeah, and I'll just show you an example. If I have anything, uh, let me go back. Mike Jones teaching. Here we go. So don't have anything there. Okay. Let's see. Um, like, so if I wanted to add that, then I would tag that photo, right? And I'm sorry, I would tag that photo, Mr. Jones. I'd say, I'll just say picture day, right? Mr. Jones, picture day. I could spell picture. Give me one second. Picture day. Oh, well, oh. There we go. Okay, so then you don't have to upload it, and there it is. Okay, um, so that's good. All right. Assigning photo of the collection. Now, here's the collection. Uh, we're going to put this in. If you look over here, you want to add it to the collection. I'm going to click it. I'm going to add it to the admin office staff, all uppercase, upload. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go done. And this is where, this is where you got to organize it. So we only want, so I've got everything here. So if you go to the spread, and the best way for me to show you, let me open it up another page so I can go back and forth. I just want you all to understand the process so we can start going through it. I'm going to launch another one. Uh, as well, so you can see the process uh, from the spread to the pictures. So let's open up the spread. So we have the recap of the year. There are going to be some text and some cool pictures there. Uh, the office administration, uh, that spread there. So if if you look, notice page two and three, that spread, you got administration on the left, office staff on the right, and then that's where it's going to be. So everything, every picture that we would like to put on those pages on page two and page three need to go there okay now that's that's what we need to start working on but before we do that before we do that we need to ensure that we're putting we're going to go through and we're going to really work hard in trying to find quality pictures to put in so 22 23 shared with students okay now here's what i'm going to do that is going to be the front cover we have decided that uh, it's obviously not going to be that uh but i'm going to make a few changes uh with that but we can still have time now uh what i'm going to do i'm going to add a folder in here and we're just going to call this i call this balfour upload or yearbook okay create so for example we have every one of these spread so like recap of the year so balfour upload so what we're going to do is let's let's say we have a picture that we want for the recap of the year okay so let me just grab a picture let's say there say there's this picture here let's, it's a it's the uh cross country picture let's say that's one of the ones we want for recap of the year so what i'm going to do is I'm going to label that rename recap number one. Okay. Now within your group today, what you're going to do is you're going to go through the pictures and you're going to choose the ones you think you like. Okay. Recap number one. All right. So, and then we're going to find another one and then find another one. So you can go back here, share to students. Uh, Let's go to field trips. Let's say we want this. This is the first semester uh, yearbook group, and then I'm going to take a team picture of you guys. Here's some random shots. So you, it, it's going to take some time, and I'm going to assign groups and to go through folders, but I would like everybody to go through folders just to see what we have, okay? While you're doing that, the editors are going to be breaking, uh, going ahead and, and building like all the different groups so you notice you got the tigers and the cubs the reds and the royals the red Sox and the cardinals and then we're just going to call this exploratory okay or we'll just call them electives okay and we're just going to have one big page one spread of electives okay 
uh, in that way. All right. Um, and then we still have some other pages and those are like filler pages that we can do some different things with as well. So that's why we went through the yearbooks last year to look or yesterday to look at them to see what we want now. So we got to spend a lot of time today. Remember Balfour upload for yearbook. This is so basically what does that mean? That means that we're going to whatever we put right here in the Balfour upload, what we whatever we've ch chosen for page recap number one. That's like the first picture that needs to go on page one of recap of the year. And that, now, again, that's just an example. We won't use that one. So I'm going to delete that one. I'll remove that from that page. OK, uh, now you can. The cool thing is, is you can come over here. And let's say when we go to all pictures and I want to add, let's say, uh, Miss Singleton. OK, and you look at the spread and say, hey, this would look really good if we did something with, uh, let's see, some office staff support. OK, so that's page five. So what I'll do is I'll say I'm going to go here and I'm going to go move to and let's go back one arrow and let's move it to Balfour. Uh, move here move so that picture is over there now okay we're going to go in here and we're going to go I might as well just list, list of pages uh let's go rename page five support okay number one okay and then you'll have page so if we do it like that then you know like if i have more pictures page one page two page three they'll all be chronologic chronologically or excuse me, numerically by the number in order. Okay, so it should work really well. Uh, so now you go into administration and office guidance support. Again, the eighth grade spreads, uh, seventh grade spreads, and the sixth grade spreads. Those are going to be automatically generated. Nobody's going to have to worry about that. I'll do those things. But and then editors, I want you guys to focus on making sure that we have a really good size football picture, team picture, and then some other pictures. And there's some good quotes. So basically, I want you all to mirror the right side for basketball. So basically, that's simply you can just and I can help you with that. Uh, and it usually works pretty good. You can just hit duplicate. Or excuse me. I'm sorry. You can hit control C and then control V to copy and then just move it over. OK, you can move it over. But you also still want that background gray as well. OK, uh, so you can hit. Control C and then Control V. Now, what that does is I can put that right there. Uh, so, really, initially, the best way to do it is probably get rid of everything, right? And you can manually go in there and kind of mess with it. That because you want your you want your pages to be, you know, uh, organized and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You want them to be consistent, if you will. All right, so by the spread. So, you know, page 26 and page 27, you know, need to be similar, even though it's going to have like football on one side and volleyball on the other side. So, can copy and paste, you know, use that right here. You see the, uh, you know, you got, you got your, uh, your boxes there, and you're just going to do a mirror image. So, I can go control C, control V, and I can drop that over here. OK, and that's what the editors are going to be. They're going to help me with that. Now, if you notice, if I, you see that dotted line right there and it's important for everybody to see that that dotted line. Now that's equal. This one is equal to this one. And then I'm going to hit control C, control V, drive it over here. And that's equal. Now, one thing I want to do is I'm going to use my arrows, just the arrows by themselves, just a nudge. OK, and it's important for everybody else to know this. OK, uh, there's the dotted lines. Boom, boom, boom and boom. OK, so let's take a quick break. I want everybody to do this. I need everybody to go back to the Canvas page uh, just to ensure that everybody's on the same page. We're going to go to assignment number one, LTs and SCs. And I want everyone to click on the fifth period learning targets. Yes, we've done this, but don't worry about it. Everybody's going to I want to recap it. I want you to hit file. Make a copy, entire presentation, okay? And you can just put your name, okay? And the date is the 11th, LTs, 
Simple as that. Okay. What I want to know is this. I want to know what you know. Okay. So we're going to go to learning target. We're learning about the process of creating the yearbook by manipulating and editing photos by using appropriate software. Of course, the software is, you know, Encore, right? So uh, log into Photopeak. Can you do that? If you, you can, you're going to click, you're going to highlight that and go to the highlighter. Boom. Go yellow. Open an image in Photopeak. Should be able to do that. Boom. Okay. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that. Uh, four or five minutes to do that. Use a filter from the camera. Uh, and this is, this is the iPad. Boom. Okay. There it is. Uh, use the Google Drive app to upload my images to my drive. There it is. Go. So if you can't do it, let's say you can't export manipulated images and you don't know how to do it, you're going to hit the end. But I want you to go all the way down of all the I can statements and do that. Okay. And then once you get done with that, then I want you to go back to Balfour Upload for Yearbook and the shared folder. And I want you to go through the folders. Okay. Go through the folders. And let's let's start off with, uh, let's focus on, let's go back to the spread. Let's focus on admin and office guidance and support for today so page two page three page four and page five so basically if i find something on page two so i'm going to go through here and let's go spirit week specials let's see what i got twin day i mean you can go through every one of we got a ton of pictures so what i'm trying to find right now is a really good picture of the let's see uh Let's say guidance and support. So guidance is like Ms. Claycomb, uh, all the guidance counselors, uh, people like uh, Mr. Booker, uh, all the people, uh, the behavioral health specialists, uh, Mr. Williams, people like that. Mr. Williams is support, you know, Ms. Skates is support. So anybody that, that works with you uh, on a schedule basis, a mental basis. Uh, and so I want to try to find admin, admin on the left, Page two, office staff on the right, page three, guidance, page four, and support, page five. So let's get those done, and then I'll, we'll work on recap together. All right.